My name is Tim Hinman. I'm from England originally, but I've been living in Copenhagen, Denmark since 1996. The sound project I'm making for Copenhagen Art Festival is called Taxi Tales. Basically, it's a bunch of interviews with a, yeah, quite a large number of taxi drivers. And what you can hear in the installation is taxi drivers talking, telling stories, stories about their life, stories about their, their time in the taxis, uh, things that have happened, maybe some of the things that didn't really happen, can't be sure, but um, life philosophy, whatever. And the idea behind it is to uh, allow the audience uh, to participate in this, this life of taxi drivers and, and hear their stories and bring these individuals who always often work alone and separate in taxi cabs around the city, uh, bring them together in one place and, and somehow illustrate the idea of taxi life in Copenhagen, anno 2012. I'm exhibiting the piece at uh, Nikolai Kunsthal. Um, hopefully we're going to be installing the piece in an old taxi cab which will be parked outside the art hall. Uh, what you'll actually hear in the piece is a short, roughly between three and eight minute long conversations or stories where you only hear the voice of a taxi driver. The reason we chose this length, actually eight minutes is the apparently average length of a taxi trip uh, in Copenhagen. So it's about the average time you normally get to sit next to a driver anyway. Stories well told by real people is what it's about. Uh, we don't need to see their faces, we can understand and meet these people um, quite clearly through the sound of their voices. And, and the, the voices of these people are very different and, and very special. Some have strong accents, some, uh, some are old, some are young, there's men, women, people of all different ethnic backgrounds, uh, people of all different educations and, and all kinds of stories behind them. And, and really through the quality of their voices, uh, that's how you get to meet these people. Also there was an idea behind the project that, that these Taxi drivers, in a way, are kind of guardians of a special kind of knowledge. They have a first-hand knowledge of things that uh, the rest of us don't get to see. Uh, if you take a taxi cab, two minutes later, the, the, a senior politician could be sitting in the back seat having a, a conversation. Two minutes after he drops that person off, he may have a drunk sitting in the back seat. And two minutes after that, he may have a, 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 an atomic scientist sitting in the back, uh, and so on and so on. Throughout his day, he gets to meet very directly uh, um, all kinds of people and, um, and, and can engage them all in conversation. And, and a lot of the drivers we talk to, they really feel they have a much more accurate view of society than anyone else. Uh, so in a sense, uh, if any community has been created, it's, it's, it's the community of, of, of people listening to the stories, the audience. Joining, joining up with the, you know, this existing and strange, oddly diffuse uh, community of taxi drivers who have never really, well, maybe sometimes, but they don't often have a singular place, a voice place where they can basically speak out, except when they're sitting in their own taxi. Uh, but usually, going the other way, most of the time they sit and listen to people, you know, and uh, this is their chance to, to turn the table, in a way.